The Boeing company has opened its first 737 completion plant in China, a strategic investment aimed at building a sales lead over arch rival Airbus in one of the world's top travel markets that has been overshadowed by the US-China trade war. The world's largest plane maker also delivered the first of its top-selling 737S completed at the facility in Zhoushan, about 290 kilometers southeast of Shanghai, to state carrier Air China during a ceremony which had top executives from both companies. Clearly China has and will continue to play a key in Boeing's success. We share a long successful history of cooperation and strong partnership together and we look forward to this continuing partnership for many years to come. The reform and openness has been on the rise for 40 years. China has been the second largest civil aircraft market in the world. China has a big appetite for aircrafts. The next 20 years is an important period of strategy and opportunity for the aviation industry. We, as well as Boeing Company, will focus on providing safer, more economic, more environmental, more comfortable transportation for the aviation market and human beings. Boeing officials and the country's aviation regulator unveiled the plane to those present. Chicago-based Boeing calls itself the top U.S. exporter and delivered more than one out of every four jetliners it made last year to customers in China, where it forecasts demand for 7,700 new planes over the next 20 years, valued at $1.2 trillion. Now to Japan, where plans for flying cars are in, as Japan's Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry has stated plans to allocate about 40 million U.S. dollars in its 2019 budget to support the technology. The government has also organized a task force of companies from across aviation, automotive and information technology sectors to help Japan catch up to its competitors. The amount of money is relatively small, but it has focused industry and investors' attention on the race to make flying cars more than a fantasy. With the well-developed prototypes already being tested in Europe, the US, China and elsewhere, Japan is looking to catch up, emerging from the score of government-led companies, a scrappy startup cultivator. Some of member is from airplane company, some from helicopter company, some from car company, and some from uh, drone company. Cartivator has received about $375,000 US dollars in support from Toyota Motors to get their dreams off the ground. But Cartivator has a way to go if their Sky Dream Man vehicle, still in development, is really to achieve their dream of lighting the Tokyo 2020 Olympics ceremonial flame quadrant. Oh.